Hey, how's it going, guys? Got a quick backpack review for you. Uh, this is the REI Flash 50. Thanks to my buddy Manish for letting me borrow this. Uh, just figured I'd give you a quick look at the bag before I uh, bring it back to him. This is REI's attempt at making a backpack that has tons of capacity and storage space in different pockets, but at the same time minimizing weight for people who are into ultralight backpacking. The entire backpack itself is made of a 140 denier nylon ripstop uh, material and it has a polyurethane coating to help with uh, weather resistance. And the cool thing is, even though this has 50 liters of capacity, it only weighs about 29 ounces, so super, super light. Um, I really like this backpack. Usually I'm not really into um, ultra-light backpacks just because when I pick them up and I touch the material, I feel that they're a little bit, um, I wouldn't say fragile, but not ready to stand up to the abuse that I usually put my packs through. But this one, upon touching it and feeling it, um, I actually like it. In fact, I'm considering maybe looking for a deal on this backpack. I like it so much. And uh, I'll show you some of the features that I kind of thought were impressive. So, like always, I'm going to start with the suspension system. Looking at the backpack right here, you have padded backpack shoulder straps. Um, this is about the limit of how thick I want this to be. Um, it's not too bulky, but uh, this is just about the right size. Um, I would go a little bit thinner, but this is fine. This is not overly bulky, and it's nice and soft and well padded. And it's shaped really well. Uh, I'm trying on this backpack. I like uh, how it curves and matches the contours of my body. Right here, you're going to notice that there is an adjustable sternum strap. And the cool thing is, I like this color of orange. I just I've been digging orange lately just because I think it's really visible. Uh, if you're ever camping outside and you drop something on the ground, especially when it's nighttime, that bright color you come to appreciate just because it makes it easy to see. The cool thing, not too, has the integrated whistle. Pretty neat. Really like that. And this uses uh, the strap style of adjusting up and down. Looking at the waist belt right here. The waist belt is cool. Uh, it's actually thinner. Uh, it's weird. Uh, I would have liked the shoulder straps to be this kind of construction. The waist belt is padded, but it's thin at the same time. And it's pretty large, so it can loop around and give you a lot of support on your waist. As you can see, it can be adjusted. And one nice thing I like here is that there is a zipper pocket on the waist belt. If you're going to have a waist belt and nothing's here, you might as well put a pocket there. I mean, I just like more options. It's a mesh style pocket. Uh, I would have liked this to have been enclosed, but for this pack, since they're trying to minimize weight, every little bit counts. Mesh pockets tend to be a little bit lighter because there's less material. And on the other side of the waistband, you have some webbing straps right here. So if you want to, you could actually attach a separate pouch by interlacing it with the webbing. Would have liked another uh, mesh pouch instead, though, just because uh, I don't want to spend more money and get another pouch or whatever. And it would just look uh, a little bit more attractive just because it'd be symmetrical. And then you have some adjustment straps here for the waist belt and at the top here for the shoulder straps to adjust how the weight fits onto your body. Opening up and looking at the actual back panel, you have a bottom lumbar support and top with a channel in between here for a little bit of circulation. And the padding right here, um, I don't know how to explain it, it's kind of like a honeycomb design because you got the padding, but you have these little cutouts right here that not only add a little bit of circulation because you have more cha air channels to move through, but it also it reduces weight by putting these holes in and it doesn't mess with the, uh, uh, the integrity. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer view. See those little dots right there? It's a little kind of design. So it's kind of nice. It's a little bit more air in and plus then they cover the entire thing with this breathable fabric over the back panel. I really like this design actually. Um, and it's the first time I've seen something like this nice. I would really like to see more of this kind of a back panel in uh, other backpacks just because it reduces weight and it adds a little bit more circulation. So it's pretty cool. Really dig it. Turning over to the back of the backpack. Looking here at the bottom, you got two ice axe loops on the other side. Nice attractive orange. And then you have two hull straps to tie on gear, for example, if you want to tie on like a sleeping mat or a sleeping bag. The cool thing is, you can detach them like so, so it's easy on and off to attach things by these straps. And I love this little section right here is they have like a little clasp at the end of the strap and it's tied in on itself so you don't have dangly straps flapping around. I really dig that. And I wish more backpack companies would put something like this along. I hate having like dangly straps. I usually fit my backpacks to the length they have to be and then I cut off the strap and then sew it 
tight um, so that I don't have to worry about stuff dangling around. Before I actually open the pack, I'm going to go to the top. This is a top loader design, so basically it's a big sack with a lid. Looking at the lid itself, you have a top open pocket. If I open this up, this pretty much takes up the entire lid section area. It's nice. And you have some tie-off points here at the top in case you want to attach something. I would rather attach stuff at the bottom just because it would put more weight towards my hips, but if you wanted to, you could put some lighter weight pouches or whatever on top right here. Like say if you had a pack towel in a mesh case, you could attach it at the top right here. You have a front organizer pocket, which pretty much takes up the entire front section of the backpack right here. And it's flat, doesn't expand from the main part of the bag, but because it takes up this whole area, you could add something a little bit slightly bulkier. If it's anything more bulky than a couple of inches in thickness, I would rather use the main part of the pack and not stress the material out. This is kind of unusual right here. You have uh, holes cut into the material and you have this bungee loop with an uh, adjustable cord right here in case you want to attach uh, different types of gear. Um, one thing I don't like about this pack is it's just cut right in here. I wish they put some sort of reinforcement around these holes just because depending on how heavy whatever it is that I'm attaching here, I don't want to stress these holes and make them bigger and maybe stress out the fabric. Um, this is a brand new pack so I haven't tested it out. Uh, I haven't checked to see if this is fine or not, but just for like my own kind of anal uh, detail oriented thing, I would have liked these holes to be reinforced with some sort of like uh, hype along or something like that just so that these holes wouldn't get any bigger from stuff like hanging on and pulling on this all the time. Now actually opening the bag you have the top lid held in by these little clasps on either side and they're adjustable. And then once you open that you have this pocket. Now as you can see there are mesh pockets on either side right here so you think that these are two separate pockets but all this area right here is one gigantic pocket. It's not two separate pockets, it's one big one. And that is secured by this single clasp. So that's one thing I would have liked to see a little bit different is to access this, you gotta undo the lid and then you can you have to undo this strap. I would have had liked to have this rearranged in a way that I can access this large expandable pocket without having to open the lid up. So I open this and then you have all of this space right here. As you can see, I can bury my entire arm in here, and it's expandable because first you have the, ex uh, the ex elastic at the top of the mesh pocket, plus, as you can see right here, there's compression straps on either side. So if you want, and you have something really bulky, let me just loosen the compression strap on either side. I could stick something really bulky in here. So. Not just like a bicycle helmet, but like something like a big jacket, a puffy jacket, or uh, some actual like heavy gear in here in this pocket that I wouldn't be able to fit otherwise in the main compartment just because it's really bulky or because it's oddly shaped and has protrusions sticking out. So I really like this expansive capability for this uh, expandable pocket on the outside. Just tighten this guy up. Oh, and before I forget, this little attachment point here, which closes off the uh, outside expandable pocket, this is expandable as well. So once you've put whatever you have in here, you can close this clasp and you can actually widen this so that you can still have this attached but bigger. And if I flip it over to the other side right here on this little section, this uh, tie off, there's a little tiny pocket that's held in by Velcro. So you can stick like small little tiny keychain sized items and inside here there's even a little lanyard with a clasp. So that's neat. Um, they make use of whatever space that they have and I really like that about REI. If, uh, there's going to be a piece of fabric they'll just add a pocket to it and I really dig that. And then you have the actual main compartment right here. Drawstring closure. Open this bag up. And then you have the main compartment. Let's see if I can turn it inside out a little bit. So you can see inside. So you have this expansive 
main compartment this is hydration compatible so you'll notice right here there is a little pouch right here to stick the hydration bladder and you have smaller clasps to hang other items and if you undo this zipper you can access the frame sheet which gives this backpack its rigidity and shape and this is a cool thing it's not just a flat frame sheet if you'll notice right here they skeletonized it by cutting these holes in and that does a couple of things number one um, it reduces weight by a little bit so it's pretty neat that they by cutting these holes they're going to reduce weight but at the same time they're not going to affect the strength and rigidity of the back panel and by cutting these holes in it you get a little bit of circulation I like to think so just because this fabric seems to be a little bit breathable so it's pretty neat that they had that I've never seen uh, any backpack that had a frame sheet that was skeletonized like this before so it's pretty uh, interesting that no one's thought of it either I think it's a pretty ingenious way to save just a tiny little bit of weight and still have uh, a frame sheet that's strong so I really like that and if you're creative and a little bit daring, maybe you want to try that with the frame sheet on your backpack. I don't recommend it, but I mean, that's like an idea that just kind of popped into my head while I was looking at this pack. Close this up. Oh, and before I forget, so the top lid of this uh, backpack, underneath you have a Velcro pocket right here. Stick flatter items right there. And because the top lid is held in by this compression strap right here and there's no fixed closure you can actually remove this top lid if you wanted to so in all in all it's really nice I like the fact that there's a bunch of different storage compartment spaces and attachment points for this backpack 50 liters you can carry quite a bit of stuff and I like uh, just the over design and the aesthetic. I even love the color of this backpack. And I love the fact that with all of these features, uh, this backpack weighs only 29 ounces. So if you guys are looking for a backpack with a lot of capacity and uh, at the same time lightweight, and I just dig the design, um, you might want to give the Flash 50 from REI a shot. So that's my review. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, have a great day.